to our United for Math series on multi-digit multiplication. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the area and array method for multi-digit multiplication problems. This is the one where parents are like, what is going on? They freak out. I don't know how to do this. Do it my way. Do it the old school way. But we need to take a step back. Learning to do this and breaking down numbers, we're going to decompose the different parts of the problem. This gives students a better understanding of number sense and how we get those products instead of just following a simple algorithm. So let's take a look at a one digit by three digit problem and see how this really works. So in this problem, we have 251 times three. The first thing we have to do is decompose these numbers. So we're gonna take 251 and break it down by expanded form. When I talk about expanded form, students have a good understanding of this based on our place value lessons. If they don't, go back to our place value videos and take a look on how to decompose different numbers to their certain place values. So 251 is going to be broken down to 200 plus 50 plus 1. And you're going to multiply all of that times 3. I'm going to put a bracket around here to separate it. And now this is where the crazy comes in. We're going to build a grid or a area array box to house these numbers in. So we're going to put our smaller number on the side. This is going to tell us how many rows we're going to have. Then our other number is going to tell us how many columns we're going to have. So in this other number is three, so I have three columns. Now I'm going to take each of these decomposed parts and put them on top of the boxes. So 200 here, 50 here, and one here. Now we're going to take the 3 and multiply it by each of these numbers separately and put the products in the box. I'm going to use my understanding of multiplying by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000 for this first problem. 3 times 2 is the basic fact, which is 6, and then add two zeros. Our next one, 3 times 50, I'm going to do 3 times 5, which is 15, and add one zero. And then 3 times 1 is 3. Students often have trouble of where to put the numbers. Which product do I put where in these boxes? But it's almost like a multiplication grip. It's where the two meet. Let's take a look at how that is. So when I did 200 times 3, it's like they met here in this box. 50 times 3 met in this box, and 1 times 3 met in this box. So it's basically like where the two meet is where you put the product. Now that I have all the parts of the product, I'm going to add them together. 600. 150, and 3. Make sure you line up your place values so you get the proper product. So the answer that we get is 753. So although it looks like it takes a lot of time, the more students do this, the quicker it becomes. And they understand how they're getting those products instead of just following a simple memorized algorithm. Let's take a look at a larger problem with two digit by two digit numbers. So in this problem, we have 82 times 63. We're going to decompose both of those numbers. So this one becomes 80 plus 2, and we're going to multiply that by 60 plus 3. It's simple expanded form. Now we have two digits by two digits. So the grid that we make, or that area array box, is going to have two columns and two rows. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we need to place our numbers. We have 82, or 80 plus 2, and 60 plus 3. You want to put these numbers on the same side. So if you're putting the 80 here, you want to put the 2 right next to it. You don't want to put 80 and 60 together because that would change the number. So now we're going to put the 60 here and the 3 here. So we have 63 times 82. Now back to those multiples. 8 times 6 is 48, and I'm going to add two zeros, one here and one here. So a zero and a zero. Now 8 times 3 is 24, add one zero for 240. Now we did this first row, and we're going to be shifting down to the second row. So when we answer 60 times 2, the answer is going to go here, and 3 times 2, the answer will be here. 
So 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1, 0. 2 times 3 is 6. Now that we have all these products, we're going to add them together to get our final product in the end. Very important to line up all those place values, otherwise your answer will be incorrect. So we'll have 6, 6, 11, carry the 1, and a 5. So our product is 5,166. Although it looks different from our traditional standard algorithm, the area and array method gives students a great understanding of number sense. It's a great predecessor for algebra and understanding those broke down numbers. So thank you for joining us today at United for Math. Our next lesson is going to be on the distributive property and how that works with multi-digit multiplication. Thanks again for joining us. I'll see you in our next lesson.